Moving on to the next topic, we will be solving system of equations. So here in the part one and part two, I will be teaching you the simplest and the easiest methods. So I will use it. Uh, I will tell you the calculator method. Whereas the similar problem is there in part three, wherein I will explain you in detail step how to write and solve the problems. Now we will use the calculator. Here you can easily solve the calculator by using mode. Mode gives you plenty of options, say for example, vectors or matrices. Many things can be solved in the mode. Similarly, you can solve equations. So EQN, option number five is equation. And you have plenty of equations. You can see option number three is having power two, that is quadratic equation. Four is cubic, power three equations. But we are interested in X and Y only. So our first option, the first option is our choice. Because the second option is Z, which we do not have. So you can use the first option. But before using the first option, let's look over here. The standard form is given as AX plus BY equals C. C is a constant. What does this mean is, first you need to have the X variable and the coefficient of X. So X and the coefficient. Next, we should have Y and the coefficient, that's B. And lastly, we should have the number whatever the number is there on the other two side, other side. So X and Y in one side, the numbers in the other side. How would we solve this now? Over here, you can see the second equation is all right. 4X plus Y equals 10. Yeah, it's fine. But what about the other equation? We don't have X and Y together. So just take this Phi to the other side. It will be negative 5X or subtract 5X on both the sides. So you will be having minus 5x plus y equals 1. And below equation is all right. It's 4x plus y equals 10. So now we will use the option 1. I will show again how we came over here. That is by pressing mode, phi, and option number 1. Now all you need to do is put the coefficient. A is the value before x. That is minus phi in the first equation. If there is nothing, that means it's 1. If it is minus y, then it would be minus 1. But here it's plus y. That means it's 1. And lastly, we have 1. Here we have 4, 1, and 10. So this is it. Press equal to. You will be getting the answer 1 and 6. You can check your answer over here. So this is how you can easily solve these equations. But now what if you have some equations which do not give you just the solution, but they are say no solutions or infinitely many solutions. How do we understand? So if you have a latest model calculator, scientific calculator, I believe some, some of the models will give you the answer directly. Say let me solve one of this. Let me uh, write this in standard form. That is AX plus BY plus C. Let me just write. Just take this to the other side. It will be positive 3X plus Y equals 4. Okay. So it is this minus 3X goes to the other side. It becomes positive plus Y equals 4. Now we will go to the option 1 and let us solve this 3 1, 4. Now going on to the next equation, it's already in the standard form. So just write minus 6, minus 2, and minus 8. Now here it shows us infinite solutions. But some of your calculators may not give this answer directly. It will give you a mathematical error. It will come as math error. You know? So what do we do in such case? So you need to simplify the equations to the simplest form. Now, over here, you have 3 and there is 1. That means you can't simplify this further. It's simplified already. But look over here. You have minus 6, minus 2, and minus 8. You can divide all these terms by minus 2. You can simplify it, you know, reduce it. 
or you can take two common out so what happens over here y minus because over here all was plus so i let me uh, remove the negative sign you know so minus minus cancels and two and over here it becomes three here it just cancels off and over here it becomes four so this equation is three x plus y equals four now look at both the equations they are the same equation that means it's the same line in the last video we had seen a uh, same line same equation line will give you infinite solution both the lines are touching each other they are the same line so there are infinite solution over here now if at all you simplify and get the same equations then it is infinitely many solutions so what if you get a math error and then you start simplifying say for example over here x let me take the y to the other side it's minus y equals negative one and over here it's minus x plus y equals negative one look at this they are not the same equations they look alike they are simplified but x is positive whereas over here x is negative and y negative y positive so you can't you can't tell that these both are same equation they are different if you write this in slope intercept form you will come to know the slopes will be same but the coefficients will be at different points i mean the y intercepts so just looking at the uh, once when you solve it in the calculator you if you get a mathematical error simplify both the equations if the equations are same like the previous two problems uh, over here this seven and eight you will get the same equation that means it's infinite solutions whereas if you have different see this is different equations this is not as same as the below one they are different then it means there is no solution this is how we can easily solve it directly infinite solution for the equations giving the uh, i mean when you simplify it you will have just the same equation in both the cases whereas no solution if the lines will have different equations that means they will never touch each other uh, directly in calculator some calculators it might give you this if this is shown in finite or say for example no solution will be mentioned then it's very easy but if it gives you math error, please simplify the equations and then find the answers.